Zero knowledge proofs are those proofs that convey no additional knowledge other than the correctness of the proposition in question. To illustrate this concept, imagine you and a friend are looking at a Where's Waldo book. You find Waldo before your friend and yell out that you have found him. But how do you prove it to your friend without revealing Waldo's location? As you think about Waldo, let's discuss another analogy. The cave door. For this example, we'll introduce two characters, Paul, the prover, and Veronica, the verifier. Imagine there is a circular cave. This particular cave has one entrance and exit, and it happens to be at the front. At the back of the circular cave, there is a door. This door has a keypad that requires a passcode to be entered to open. Paul wants to prove to Veronica that he knows the passcode without revealing what the code actually is. All Paul has to do is enter one direction of the cave, with Veronica watching, and come out the other side. Let's complicate things. Imagine that Veronica does not see Paul enter the cave. Once Paul enters the cave, he chooses which direction to go. Veronica then walks to the mouth of the cave and directs him which way to exit. If Paul exits the way that Veronica directs him, should she believe that he knows the secret code? Remember, Veronica does not see Paul enter the cave. She does not know which direction he goes initially. Paul has a 50% chance of exiting the cave in the right direction, regardless if he knows the code or not. This test can be performed over and over again. Each time Paul exits the correct way, the chances that he does know the code increase, but we can never be 100% sure. The cave door analogy provides a great visual to explain what a zero-knowledge proof is. But why are zero-knowledge proofs important in blockchain technology? To understand this, let's take a look at another example. Imagine that user A wants to send user B some currency. The role of the blockchain is to validate that user A has enough currency to cover the payment to user B. However, the blockchain doesn't need to know any additional information. I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction into Zero Knowledge Proofs. Please check out achainofblocks.com for more information. And leave a comment below to let me know what you'd like the next video to be about.